Okay, here's the end of the bridge that was uh, taken down, I don't know, maybe 1960s or so. New bridge is well, from the 80s or something. <clears throat> a lot of overgrowth, I picked a few blackberries from over here, I'm not sure how safe that is. They seem a little early still to pick. Yeah, you got that house over on the other side. People live right on the bridge. They take on a German identity by using German words to describe their house. I forget the name, something house, Butenhaus or something. H-A-U-S. Okay, today's the day my food stamps should reset to 195. I'm going to go check them right now at Everybody's, which is, yeah, just over there. If it doesn't reset, I can run over to South Bend and the Department of Health and Human Services and take care of it and change over from Oregon to Washington, which isn't really that much of a problem, so I'm in a pretty good position right now. So I'm going to try to put a simple groove in the center of this of this stick this long stick that I'm gonna attach my um, my iPod to that way it won't move so freely at the top this holds it pretty good but if I can get this groove a little bit better it'll hold it a little bit better These ferns produce a lot of that dusty spore. I, I really stirred up a lot before. But, well, this stuff is sticking on pretty good. 
you can see it lined up all in there on the underside of the leaves well I made an Indian club out in the woods I wanted to show off my strength uh, but I, I I had it you see it's broken right here it's two pieces very heavy still but, uh, two pieces right there I had it standing straight up and then I let it drop into the into the plants and then it broke in half so it's a lot less light but I needed it light anyway so as you can see I have full grip I could touch my fingers together and it's very heavy good exercise peanuts and raisins if I can be seen it's about as close as I'm getting to peanut butter and jelly they add way too much sugar and peanut butter and it tends to give me heartburn and it's, it is unreasonable the amount of sugar they add to, sh to jelly when raisins are sweet by themselves so this is it And here's how the yard looks after the concert is gone. Just an open space. This parking lot area seems to be one of the most peaceful places in the city. Uh, but I'm going to need to get over to the other side and uh, find a place to sleep. I'm afraid the cops will come and harass me. That's probably why it's peaceful. There still appear to be a lot of abandoned homes throughout this area. That's probably why these people feel comfortable keeping goats in their yard. But man, they've really const have constricted space for what they what they got. They got turkeys, goats, and some little chicks chirping. Um, there's birds inside their house and cages like cockatiels or parrots. I think they might have a problem. You don't raise livestock in the city or town even. There's just too constricted a space and you can hear the goats a block away. That's got to be a noise problem. This house has been abandoned for over a year. I had I took a video of it last year. That still somebody's coming out and mowing the grass and all that. But yet it sits. Ooh, the sides look a little moldy. Can't imagine how nasty it is inside. On Fowler Street. 
I'm a little surprised my biceps are sore um, from uh, the uh, Indian Club workout I did yesterday. I didn't do much and it, yeah, I, I just I didn't feel like I really got a workout in. But my biceps are the most sore part of my body right now. And it's most likely from the lifting of them. So uh, that's good because I, I did enjoy just kind of tossing it around. So, so uh, if doing that turns into a workout too, well then, you know, more power to the, the movement. But it is new. Yesterday was the first time I did it and I haven't really exercised much before that. It's not easy finding good places and uh, picking good resources. So that's part of the reason why I'm sore too, was just a lack of exercise as well. Um, but you gotta restart several times somewhere and it's, you know, long, long periods of inactivity before I can get some good activity. Um, doing the best I can with it though. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to complain about my neck. It's still stiff. I mean, it seems like it's improved a lot since I really injured it, but yeah, there's there's tightness and it it goes up into the upper part of my my neck. It's it's just weird. I don't I'm not sure how it came about. It just suddenly came about and then and uh it's kind of reduced and now I just have to watch my movements. It's interesting, there's a middle-aged couple that have a, one of those um, drones and I think they have a camera on it and they're just circling around these uh, carriages. They circled around that carriage. So uh, they're circling around this one. They're, you attach uh, like a, some kind of touch screen to their controller and she's able to like watch a, through the camera on that drone I guess and then she's like capturing it from a slightly different angle um it's interesting 